This is a Bamboo Lab A1 Mini with some extras that you can probably see here. And this is one of the coolest things that I have tested out in a very, very long time. Now, not so long ago, I was contacted by the creator of this mad, like, conveyor belt type mechanism that upgrades your A1 Mini. And they said they seen a few of my videos about my Legion's Imperialis stuff and thought that I could benefit from trying one of these out. And if they sent me over all the bits, would I be happy to test it out? And me being, you know, me, I was like, yes, this looks amazing. And I, I want to try it out. So I guess in a nutshell, what is this? You know, I've got all these bits suddenly now on my bill plates, for example. You can probably see some of these in the B-roll as well. There's all these like extra bits hanging off the end here. I've got this whole bit on the back as well with these extra plates on it. You know, it's, it's made my A1 Mini not so mini. So, <laughs> you know, what is it? And basically, it allows you to print off multiple plates without having to come back or do any of like, the pulling them off and stuff like that. It's, my friend summed it up the best when he saw it. It's like a conveyor belt for your printing. So if you have a print farm, for example, or if like in this video where I'm doing these Legion Imperialis tiles, you've got loads of them to print and they only take like two hours to do for each one. And you don't want to have to keep coming back and making sure everything's prepped and ready. You can just set loads of them going and the machine will do all of that. Now, this comes in two different like variations. You can either get one which is like a DIY one where you buy the package and they'll send you out all the screws and everything else that you need. But then you print all the bits you need. So like these bits here, it's all 3D printed, all these ye yellow bits that you see and all these gray bits as well. So you would print it all off, you'd then get the package sent through and you screw it all in yourself and then you're pretty much good to go and off to the races. And the other one, which is the set they sent me, is the basic, the fully done package. So they will send you over all the printed parts, it's all assembled and pretty much ready to go. And then all you do afterwards, once you get it, clip it all onto your machine and you go from there. You'll see some B-roll on the screen here at the moment of me and my friend figuring it out. And it's really simple to put together. I do recommend watch their instructions. They've got some really good YouTube videos that show you how to assemble it all, rather than just jumping in like we did straight away. But you get it all assembled and you're good to go. Now you might be wondering, well, how the hell does this work? Because there's nothing within the Bamboo Lab slicer that's gonna let me print one plate and then have the printer automatically move on to do the next one. And you're right. And not only have they done this hardware, which is really, really well thought of, they've also got the software side of it. So basically you go into your Bamboo Lab slicer and you slice up all the plates that you wanna use. You then export those into a file and upload them onto a web app. The web app will then do its thing and then you open the downloaded file from the web app into the Bamboo Lab slicer and send that over as a project to your 3D printer. 3D printer then goes off, does its next thing and you just leave it to do it and it prints things off one after the other. And I found that this works perfectly all the time. I've had like no issues with it. So like I mentioned, I've been printing off all these Legion's Imperialis tiles and basically I queue them all up and you can do up to like, I think it's 10 different projects all in one go. So that way it'll do one plate after the other up until it runs out. And how it works is once it's finished, this goes over to the front. It basically then pulls this off and it's doing all this other bit. And although I'm manually doing it now, hopefully again, I'll have some more B-roll for you. Pulls that off. And then as that goes back, that then slides and it drops down. This thing goes to the back. It clips onto here and it pulls this out and then pushes it back again, and then basically that ends up dropping onto the front here, and it does its printing. It's really, really clever. Like, I, I don't know the full, you know, bits behind it. I'm not that kind of person, but it works. You load up all your trays in the back here, and then it's good to go. Once you come back out, if you wanted to, I've got three trays here. I can come back out and have up to 10 things running at the time. Take my print off of here, load it into this tray so that way it's ready and I just keep rotating those. So it's very, very clever, very, very impressive. The other good thing as well is that it doesn't interfere with the time or anything that's on the screen. So this will still tell you how long you've got for each one of these. So each tile's taking about two hours, it moves on to the next project, shows me I've got two hours and does the countdown as you'd expect. So nothing like that gets interfered with, which is a massive bonus. You might be worried as well when I mentioned there that it's a web app, but you can also use that web offline. So that way, if you don't want to worry about where are my files going or do I have internet connectivity or something like that, for example, or if you're in a place that just doesn't have very good internet connectivity, you can do all of this offline as well, which is a big, big bonus, especially for anyone who's worried about privacy, stuff like that. 
So I went off and I printed off a whole bunch of these tiles for Legion Imperialis, got them all printed and then started getting them all painted up as well. And like I mentioned, I've been really impressed with this so far. The only downside is that A, it makes your printer larger. So if we turn it round, obviously the mini is usually like that big. So the footprint is normally about that big, but now it goes all the way out. So you are gonna need more space for this. Whether or not that trade-off is worth it for you is completely up to you. Uh, the thing that I found that's a pain for is it means that like on my shelf behind me, I can't have it facing out this way because then when the print is done, it drops off the edge and falls. So I need to get some kind of like collection bit so it drops into it and doesn't damage anything. So now I have to have it this way across. So therefore it takes up more, again, bigger footprint space and everything else. Trade-off though is that you might not need to have multiple machines because if you have a print farm, for example, if you're printing to sell, you could just queue up a whole bunch of them and just leave them running. And then the next day you would come out and be able to pick up all your prints. So that could be a decent trade-off there. So completely up to you and your circumstances. Apparently they also have one that's gonna be coming out for the A1 that they're currently looking at building and doing all of that early work for, but it's a really clever idea. And like I mentioned, I've been really impressed with how easy it is to set it up. But more importantly, the fact that it just works. Like as me and my friend were setting up to then play with, and then I was getting everything moved across. I just, I had so many doubts because they have the videos that show it working, but of course they have videos showing it working. But once it gets into the real life user's hand, especially me who sometimes messes things up because I don't always read the instructions and it worked, I was like, yeah, that's, that's great. Now, what are the chances that Bamboo Lab are going to Sherlock this and build something like this into their own printers in the future? I think that's pretty high. Again, I don't know if there's many users out there who would want something like this, but for someone like me who I don't always like to print multiple things on one plate, just because if something potentially goes wrong with one of those things, it can mess up the whole thing. I know you can do them one after the other, but again, there's space and size issues and stuff like that. I prefer to do them like one after the other, but that means then coming back out to get the plate off, to put it back on and then start my print again. With this, you can queue it up and it just does it. And I think it's such a clever idea, very easy to install, very simple to use as well, which is great. You know, we've got so many things on here that just protect the machine. So one thing I'll quickly shout out is here where you've got the cable that comes off of the heat bed, there's this like locking mechanism and the shield that's been printed that goes over the top of it. And that'll stop the cable from snagging against this like tray loader and stop it from getting damaged. Uh, just things like that, loads of little things on here that help to keep the machine protected, to help keep it all running. And it's just such a well thought out thing. Now, if you want to check this out, I'll have all the links down below so you can check it out for yourself. I think it's a very clever machine. And if you have a print farm and you have an A1 Mini, or if like me, you have an A1 Mini and you're doing lots of projects that require you to kind of come back out and take the tray off and stuff like that every so often, it's an amazing addition. It's simple to use, just really effective. And yeah, it makes such a difference. So thank you so much for sending that over. I think it's amazing. It's really, really clever. And let me know if you've got any questions that I can answer in the comments below. And thanks so much for watching. Hopefully I will see you in the next one. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe and be sure to come over to the Discord channel as well because we talk all things 3D printing over there and I'm more likely to answer any questions you've got there. So hopefully I will see you in the next one. In the meantime, take care. Bye.